Hello everyone, this is Ray Space in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with the Promised Worlds mod. This mod is one that adds other star systems to Kerbal Space Program 1, and these are the star systems that were promised in Kerbal Space Program 2 but never delivered. Uh, it currently only has one star system, the DebDeb system, and in my previous video on this mod, Void wondered about the stability of the planetary systems, especially the Axod system. Uh, this is only an issue when it comes to n-body physics, which Kerbal Space Program by default does not have. Kerbal Space Program by default has everything on rails and everything is based on patched conics, which is how NASA went to the moon in the 1960s. After all, they calculated things using patched conics. But n-body physics, instead of just taking into consideration one planetary body at a time and its gravitational influence on the spacecraft, calculates all the influences of everything. So the gravity on, say, in the real solar system, Jupiter on Earth, Jupiter on the moon, Earth on the moon, and then everything is very dynamic in that situation. So that's n-body physics. And that takes a lot of, and I misspelled the mod name here, that takes a lot of computation though, which is why the Apollo missions were not based on that, and why Kerbal Space Program is not normally based on that, but there is a mod that does give you n-body physics, and that is Principia. Uh, it is the n-body physics mod for Kerbal Space Program, and we will see what it does to the DebDeb system. Will the DebDeb system be stable with n-body physics, with everything gravitating with each other? Now, this is not a problem in terms of playability or fun or anything like that. It's fine if it's not stable. Let me just say that because, after all, the Kerbin system, well, the Kerbal system is not stable. Well, it's this Joule system that's not stable. Joule and its moons are a little bit too close together. So let's see what happens when we add Principia to the situation. Error extending trajectory for Gurdama. Error trying to fit a smooth polynomial to the trajectory. Um, an apocalypse occurred and two celestial bodies probably collide because your solar system is unstable. Um, we, we've barely started yet. Hopefully some things are still there. <laughs> This is why I didn't immediately start inside the save, because I knew things might go badly. But let's see. Okay, so there's Oven, Char, Gurdama. Gurdama's still there, but maybe something around Gurdama is not there. Okay, we need, we need the trajectory stuff. Oh, now here's a problem. We only have Kerbin, the Sun, Moon, and Minmus. Really, I want to center it on DebDeb, right? I want to center it on this star. So we can't really see everything. Well, Donk is still there. Donk's velocity is changing very quickly. <laughs> Uh, let's take a look at the Axod situation. I can always start a new save to see the other situations, but let's see. Let's time warp and see what happens here. Well, we already see that Umad is being interesting, and I don't know what that line is. We could also check this out in Universe Sandbox. That's another way of doing it. I mean, so far, there's no apocalypse here, but and you can see the trails that they make here. That's not too bad. I wish it was centered on Axod, though. They're getting really close together here, aren't they? A35. Well, not immediate destruction, that's for sure. But this is this is getting a little bit tight. And these were the ones that were opposite each other before, Omasa and Mesma. They're not they're not opposite each other anymore. If they all last a year, I'm gonna say it's all right. <laughs> but 
But I mean, it's definitely not in the same configuration it was before, but then again, we sort of expected that. So Mesma and Omasa are separating out now. I mean, now they're getting closer and closer to on opposite sides again. Nope, now they're narrowing. Which one had the really inclined world? Interested to see what happened with that. But we'll give Axod its year and then check the others. Apparently there's something wrong with Gurdama. All right. Well, folks, if your wager was that the moons of Axod would stick around for a year, then you were correct. It, they, they seem fine for a year. They're in an interesting configuration. Um, and sometimes Omasa and Mesma are further apart from each other, and sometimes they're much closer. Umad has gotten here. It started out, like, closer. But uh, it's here now. So this is this is how they are. They could still smack into each other. But unfortunately, the time warp steps in stock are not as high as they are in real solar systems. So if it was real solar system, I could time warp many more years. But for now, I'll hold that thought. Let's just take a look at the current configuration of some of the others and see what's gone on. Doral had one moon. It still has one moon. Biz. So that's fine. Glumo has one, two, three, four, five moons, but then one of its moons has another moon. So anyway, let's check that out because that's an interesting situation and probably doomed. But um, that's the general idea. Glumo. Okay, so what do we have here? We have Glumo, we have Shana. Nodge was the one that was closest. Nodge is still here. Nodge, Shana, Clyde, Deros. Murble has ended up there. Deros. Deros still has its moon. So that's pretty good. But let's take a look at how it's going here by time warping. Um, they're doing interesting things, but they're not looking too bad. Shana and Nodge really threaten to smash into each other frequently, though. And Murble is getting closer sometimes. Deros is now way far out. Whoa, Deros. It's really almost like leaving. But if you take a look at how Shana and Nox go around here, it's pretty clear that the rings are not going to survive. The, the two of them would definitely pull apart those rings, I think. Because they're going in and out. So is Clyde. But I've definitely seen worse systems. Still got these two. Ooh. Sometimes they get pretty close. But it should at least give me a mention of, you know, like a collision. I don't know if... They actually collide or not, or get wiped out, but there should be at least a mention. It's not like Universe Sandbox where it'll show you an animation of them disintegrating or anything like that. It is certainly possible for the moons to get flung out into interplanetary space with Principia, and so far they haven't done that. 
And they're still here. The icons some, sometimes disappear, but they're still here. Well, they've certainly made nice little circles. You can see uh, we're still trying to focus on the Glumo system, but Char is making an orbit there, Oven there. So I guess this is an okay frame of reference. Gurdama there, and Lapat there. They're, they're all chugging along as far as the planetary orbits. I don't know why these are shaking, but we're approaching one year for the Glumo system. And we can see Naj, Shana, um, where's Clyde? Uh-oh, I've lost track of Clyde. Where did Clyde go? Shana. Hold on. Coming out of time, more. Nod, Shana, Merble, Deros. But we've we've lost Clyde. Let me just check on Deros's moon. I don't know if we still have Deros's moon. Shoot. I missed when that happened. Uh, I think we lost them. Jute we lost, and Clyde we lost. I don't know where they went, but Principia did not mention it. I mean, I assume they smacked into Glumo, or the moon of Deros could have smacked into Deros. So we're left with four here out of the five. And they're probably not in the same orbit, but that's par for the course with n body physics. And Clyde, neither Clyde nor Jute got flung out into interplanetary space. So, yeah, definitely a disintegration, but I'm surprised they didn't mention it. Okay, well, that wasn't as stable. Now, the Gurdama system was the one that threw this error in the first place. Uh, it's Moon Donk and also Goop are still here. I don't know what the heck this Donk is doing though. What kind of pattern is that? I've seen that I mean, maybe it's because of the frame of reference. Sometimes some things do that because of a weird frame of reference. Well, it's doing a three-leaf pattern there. Goop occasionally comes around. But they're still here, unlike the Glumo moons. And we are approaching the end of the second year. The planets seem fine. I wish I could have caught what happened, but I did not, and I'm not going to go through two years of time warping again. But basically, after one year, it was fine. One year was fine, but on the second year, we lost Clyde and Jute. So that is the verdict. Still, no problems at all. I think the Jewel system in Kerbal, the stock system, is worse as far as I know. This is pretty good. So that is the verdict with Principia. And maybe somebody will try it out with Universe Sandbox or something, but you'd have to input all the details in. Or you could do a long-term study with Principia to see if it has a problem in 100 years. But I suggest putting the changing the time warp steps if you're going to do that. For now, that's it for me. And I'll continue exploring the Promise Worlds system. Well, currently just this one system, DebDeb, -deb, but eventually the other systems in future videos. 
So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.